Hello everybody, welcome back. Today's video is about an update to the Map Enhancement mod. For those of you who aren't familiar with it, the Map Enhancement mod allows you to replace the default ground imagery in Microsoft Flight Simulator with updated imagery either from Bing, Google, or even other map providers. If you're unaware, the maps that are used, the imagery that is used, in Microsoft Flight Simulator is old, sometimes several years old. The updated maps give you better ground definition, more detail, and a lot more realistic flight experience. The latest updates are very important and you're gonna to wanna to stick around to hear about what they are. If you haven't used the Map Enhancement mod before and you need to download it for the first time, you simply come here to the download page, click on the installer, and save it to a location of your choice on your PC. Then you simply run the executable and install the program. If you already have the map enhancement mod, when you open it, it should indicate here to you that there is a new version. Otherwise, you can come over here and click on the down arrow and click check for updates. Here you can see that there's a new update for version 8.0.8 .8, and here's some release notes. Just click on download an update and then click on restart and apply update. There may be some additional Microsoft software that needs to be installed. And if so, the install will do that for you. And then you just click on finish. And then the updated version will open. You'll see here on the main page, there's a selection for choose a map. I have Bing latest version selected. One of the updates in this version 8.0.8 .8, is to update the Google Maps servers to new Google Maps. So now the very latest Google Maps that are available are available to you in the sim. You select those simply by clicking on Google Map and then start. Let's take a look, however, at what the Map Enhancement mod gives us. Let's take a quick look at some comparison images between the stock Asobo maps and the updated Bing maps in this case. This is the stock image from the sim. This is the image, the Bing image from the map enhancement mod. Again, the stock image and the map enhancement mod image. Now you can see how much more realistic the map enhancement mod image looks. Way, way better, a lot crisper, a lot more detail, much more realistic coloring, really big improvement over the standard images in the sim. Now, as I said earlier, the Google Maps are now updated to the very latest Google servers, so you're gonna get the very latest Google Maps available. There is a pro license available for this program. So what do the pro maps give you? The pro maps give you an enhanced experience. The developer uses certain algorithms to give you clearer pictures, better coloring and a more realistic looking image. However, you do not have to buy the pro license. I use the free Bing Maps. I find it to be a really big enhancement over the standard images from a Sobo in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And I see no reason personally to use pro maps. Some people use the pro maps and find them to be really, really good. And I'm sure they are. I personally am satisfied with the Bing latest version, so that's what I use. So what do the pro maps look like? Let's have a look at a few examples. Here you can see on the left, the standard map, and on the right is the pro map. Again, here on the left is the standard map, and on the right is the pro map. And you can see, it just has better coloring, more realistic coloring, better definition than the standard map. And these types of images, I think, show even more what the difference is. And the left is kind of washed out, almost too bright. And on the right, you can see very clearly the definition of the buildings. Looks a lot more lifelike and realistic. Same thing here in this airport image. The left looks a little bit washed out, not quite as crisp, not quite as clear. The right hand pro map image looks a lot better. So let's take a look at the latest updates. About two weeks ago, version 8.0.7 came out. This fixed a bug where the cache could not be set higher than 100 gigabytes and improved the ArcGIS satellite imagery. 
The ArcGIS satellite imagery is an independent offering which has maps for basically the entire world within the last three to five years. I haven't tried it personally, but it is one of the options that's available in the map enhancement mod. The latest update from a few days ago, this one, version 8.0.8, .8, has two very important updates. The first one is updating the Google server to the latest version. So now you're gonna get the very latest Google Maps. The second one is adding a host fix when you uninstall the application to prevent Microsoft Flight Simulator from not loading. This is a known issue. It's not an issue that everybody has, but for some people, when they uninstall the map mod, sometimes you can't load Microsoft Flight Simulator after that. There is a solution to that, there's a workaround, but this version 8.0.8 .8 has fixed that problem. You come up here to this four square symbol, this is the settings. The first one is close the application to minimize the system tray. What that does is if you click the red X here to close the program, it doesn't stop the program, it just minimizes it to your system tray. There's another option to start the program right to the system tray. There's an option to automatically start the mod, and there's an option to start Microsoft Flight Simulator when you start this mod. Here, you have to select which version of Microsoft Flight Simulator you have, MS Store or Steam. In my case, it's Store. Here are the map settings themselves. This first setting, Enable High LOD. What this is, this gives you a much higher image, actually a four times higher image, than the normal images from the map enhancement mod. That also means that you're using four times as much data. So if you are on a limited data plan with your internet, be careful about selecting this because this uses a lot more data. It will give you a much better image, much better LOD, but it does use a lot more data. This next one, only load high LOD images during flight. What that means is when you're on the ground and you're not going to be seeing these high LOD images, you don't have to use all that extra data to generate these higher images, these higher resolution images that you're not even able to see. The next one here, you can set an altitude below which the high LOD images are enabled. The default is 10,000. And the logic here is that if you're above 10,000 feet, you're not really going to see a difference between the high LOD images and the normal LOD images. So this saves you again a lot of processing power and a lot of data, makes things load faster, makes a lot of sense. I think this is a good option to have. I leave it at the default. Here are the cache settings. If you turn this on, you can select how big of a cache you want. And this is a cache of the map enhancement mod maps. This is a separate cache from your Microsoft Flight Simulator cache. If you are going to use this cache in the map enhancement mod, it is suggested that you turn off the rolling cache in the sim, and we'll get to that when we look at the sim settings. What you want to do the first time you set this up, you want to set your cache size. I generally set a pretty big one, such as say 100 gigabytes. And then what you want to do is select clear all data, and clear photogrammetry data. And what that does is just give you a clean slate so you don't have any competing images trying to load. And then we come here into the sim settings, go to options, general options, data, and you wanna make sure online functionality, Bing Data World Graphics, and photogrammetry are all enabled. And then if you're going to use the cache from the map enhancement mod itself, you wanna come down here and make sure your rolling cache is turned off, and then you wanna delete the rolling cache file, and that is the way that it is recommended to run the program. So that should give you a pretty good overview of the program and how to use it, and we've also gone over what the latest updates are. If you do have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments section below. I would appreciate it if you have liked the video. If you could subscribe, it would help the channel. And I hope everybody's having a great day.